Namaste, Tanama Pranam, by the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Vishnu Pad Shupad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj. We are here reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 1, Creation, Chapter 15, Text 36. Yadha mukundo bhagavan imham mahim. Yadha mukundo bhagavan imham mahim. Jaho svatanva shravaniya satkata. Tadahar eva prati buddha chetasam. Adhadhara hetu kalir anvavarta. When the personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, left this earthly planet in his self-same form. From that very day, Kali, who had already partially appeared, became fully manifest to create inauspicious conditions for those who are endowed with a poor fund of knowledge. Purport. The influence of Kali can be enforced only upon those who are not fully developed in God consciousness. One can neutralize the effects of Kali by keeping oneself fully under the supreme care of the personality of Godhead. The age of Kali ensued just after the battle of Kuruksetra, but it could not exert its full influence because of the presence of the Lord. The Lord, however, left his earthly planet, this earthly planet, and his, uh, in his own transcendental body. And as soon as he left, the symptoms of the Kali Yuga, as were envisioned by Maharaja Yudhisthira prior to Arjuna's arrival from Dwarka, began to manifest. And Maharaja Yudhisthira rightly conjectured on the departure of the Lord from the earth. As we have already explained, the Lord left our sight just as when the sun sets, uh, it is out of our sight. Text 37. Yudhisthiras tat parisar panam buddhaha pure charastre chagrahe tat tat mani vibhavya lobhan vritta jima himsanadi adharma chakram gamanaya pariyadat. Maharaj Yudhisthira was intelligent enough to understand the influence of the age of Kali characterized by increasing avarice, falsehood, cheating, and violence throughout the capital, state, home, and among individuals. So he wisely prepared himself to leave home, and he dressed accordingly. Purport. The present age is influenced by the specific qualities of Kali. Since the days of the Battle of Kurukshetra, about 5,000 years ago, the influence of the age of Kali began manifesting. And from authentic scriptures, it is learned that the age of Kali is still to run on for another 427,000 years. The symptoms of a Kali Yuga, as mentioned above, namely avarice, falsehood, diplomacy, cheating, nepotism, violence, and all such things, are already in vogue. And no one can imagine what is going to happen gradually with further increase of the influence of Kali till the day of annihilation. We have already come to know that the influence of the age of Kali is meant for godless so-called civilized men. Those who are under the protection of the Lord have nothing to fear from this horrible age. Maharaj Yudhisthira was a great devotee of the Lord, and there is no necessity of his being afraid from the age of Kali. But he preferred to retire from active household life and prepared himself to go back home, back to Godhead. The Pandavas are eternal companions of the Lord. And therefore, they are more interested in the company of the Lord than anything else. Besides that, being an ideal king, Maharaj Yudhisthira wanted to retire just to set an example for others. As soon as there is some young fellow to look after the household affairs, one should at once retire from family life to uplift oneself to spiritual realization. One should not rot in the dark well of household life till one is dragged out by the will of Yamaraj. Modern politicians should take lessons from Maharaja Yudhisthira about voluntary retirement from active life and should make room for the younger generation. Also, retired old gentlemen should take lessons from him and leave home for spiritual realization before being forcefully dragged away to meet death. <clears throat> Text 38. 
Svarat putram vinayinam Atmana susham hamgunai Toya nevya patim bumir Abhyasin chad gajavhaya Thereafter, in the capital of Histinapur, he enthroned his grandson, who is trained and equally qualified as the emperor and master of all land bordered by the seas. The total land on the earth bordered by the seas was under the subjugation of king of Hastinapur. This is the purport. <clears throat> Maharaj Yudhisthira trained his grandson, Maharaj Parikshit, who was equally qualified in state administration in terms of the king's obligation to the citizens. Thus, Parikshit was enthroned on the seat of Maharaj Yudhisthira prior to his departure back to Godhead. Concerning Maharaj Parikshit, the specific word used, Vinayinam, is significant. Why was the king of Hastinapur, at least till the time of Maharaj Parikshit, accepted as the emperor of the world? The only reason is that the people of the world were happy because of the good administration of the emperor. The happiness of the citizens was due to the ample production of natural produce, such as grains, fruits, milk, herbs, valuable stones, minerals, and everything that the people needed. They were even free from all uh, bodily miseries, anxieties of mind, and disturbances caused by natural phenomena and other living beings. Because everyone was happy in all respects, there was no resentment, although there were sometimes battles between the state kings for political reasons and supremacy. Everyone was trained to attain the highest goal of life, and therefore the people were also enlightened enough not to quarrel over trivialities. The influence of the age of Kali gradually infiltrated the good qualities of both the kings and the citizens, and therefore a tense situation develop, developed between the ruler and the ruled. But still, even in this age of disparity between ruler and the ruled, there can be spiritual emolument and God consciousness. That is a special prerogative. Text 39. Maturayam tata vajram surashena patim tata pajapatyam nirupshetim agnin abibad ishvara. And then he posted Vajra, the son of Aniruddha, the grandson of Lord Krishna, at Mathura as the king of Surasena. Afterwards, Maharaj Yudhisthira performed a Prajapatya sacrifice and placed in himself the fire for quitting household life. Purport. Maharaj Yudhisthira, after placing Maharaj Parikshit on the imperial throne of Hastinapur, and after posting Vajra, the great-grandson of Lord Krishna, as king of Mathura, accepted the renounced order of life. The system of four orders of life and four castes in terms of quality and work, known as Varnashram Dharma, is the beginning of real human life. And Maharaj Yudhisthira, as the protector of the system of human activities, timely retired from active life as a sannyasi, handing over the charge of the administration to a trained prince, Maharaj Parikshit. The scientific system of Varnashram Dharma divides the human life into four divisions of occupation and four orders of life. The four orders of life as Brahmachari, Grihastha, Vanaprastha, and Sanyas are to be followed by all, irrespective of the occupational division. Modern politicians do not wish to retire from active life even if they are old enough. But Yudhisthira Maharaj, as an ideal king, voluntarily retired from an active administration life to prepare himself for the next life. Everyone's life must be so arranged that the last stage of life, say the, uh, the last 15 to 20 years prior to death, can be absolutely devoted to the devotional service of the Lord to attain the highest perfection of life. It is really foolish to engage oneself all the days of one's life in material enjoyment and fruit of activities, because as long as the mind remains absorbed in fruit of work for material enjoyment, there is no chance of getting out from conditioned life or material bondage. No one should follow the suicidal policy of neglecting one's supreme task of attaining the highest perfection of life, namely going back home, back to Godhead. Text 40. Vishrujya tatra tatsarvam 
Bukula Bala Yadikam Nirmamo Nirahankara Sanchina Sesha Bandhana Maharaj Yudhisthira at once relinquished all his garments, belt, and ornaments of the royal order and became completely disinterested and unattached to everything. Purport. To become purified of material contamination, uh, it is necessary a qualification for becoming one of the associates of the Lord. Uh, to become purified of material contamination is the necessary qualification for becoming one of the associates of the Lord. No one can become an associate of the Lord or can go back to Godhead without such purification. Maharaj Yudhisthira, therefore, to become spiritually pure, at once gave up his royal opulence, relinquishing his royal dress and garments. The uh, kasaya, or saffron loincloth of a sannyasi, indicates freedom from all attractive material garments, and thus he changed his dress accordingly. He became disinterested in his kingdom and family, and thus became free from all material contamination or material designation. People are generally attached to various kinds of, de of designations, the designations of family, society, country, occupation, wealth, position, and many others. As long as one is attached to such designations, he is considered materially impure. So-called leaders of men in modern age are attached by, natural con uh, by national consciousness, but they do not know that such false consciousness is also another designation of the materially conditioned soul. One has to relinquish such designations before one can become eligible to go back to Godhead. Foolish people adore such men who die in national consciousness. <clears throat> but here is an example of Maharaj Yudhisthira, a royal king who prepared himself to leave this world without such national consciousness. And yet he is remembered even today because he was a great pious king, almost on the same level with the personality of Godhead, Sri Ram. And because people of the world were dominated by such pious kings, they were happy in all respects. And it was quite possible for such great emperors to rule the world. Text 41. Vasham juha vamanasi tatrana itare chetam ritya panam sotrasargam tampanchat vehya johavit. Then he amalgamated all the sense organs into the mind, then the mind into life, life into breathing, his total existence into the embodiment of the five elements, and his body into death. Then as pure self, he became free from the material conception of life. Purport. Uh, Maharaja Dishthir, like his brother Arjuna, began to concentrate and gradually become freed from all material bondage. First, he concentrated all the actions of the senses and amalgamated them into the mind. Or in other words, he turned his mind toward the transcendental service of the Lord. He prayed that since all material activities are performed by the mind in terms of actions and reactions of the material senses, and since he was going back to Godhead, the mind would wind up its material activities and be turned toward the transcendental service of the Lord. There was no longer a need for material activities. Actually, the activities of the mind cannot be stopped, for they are the reflection of the eternal soul. But the quality of the activities can be changed from matter to the transcendental service of the Lord. The material color of the mind is changed when one washes it clean of the contaminations of life breathing and thereby frees it from the contamination of repeated births and deaths and situates it in pure spiritual life. All is manifested by the temporary embodiment of the material body, which is a production of the mind at the time of death. And if the mind is purified by practice of transcendental loving service to the Lord, it is constantly engaged in the service of the lotus feet of the Lord, 
there is no more chance of the minds producing another material body after death. It will be freed from absorption and material contamination. The pure soul will be able to return home back to Godhead. Text 42. Trikvehutvacha panchatvam, tach chai katve juhon munin, sarvam atmanya juhavid, pramanyatmanam avyaye. Thus annihilating the gross body of five elements into the three qualitative modes of material nature, he, mer he merged them in one nescience and then absorbed that nescience in the self. Brahman, which is inexhaustible in all circumstances. Purpur. All that is manifested in the material world is the product of the Mahatattva Avyakta. And things that are visible in our material vision are nothing but combinations and permutations of such variegated material products. But the living entity is different from such material products. It is due to the living entity's forgetfulness of his eternal nature as an eternal servitor of the Lord and his false conception of being a so-called Lord of the material nature, that he is obliged to enter into the existence of false sense enjoyment. Thus a, con a concomitant generation of material energies is the principal cause of the minds being materially affected. Thus the gross body of the five elements is produced. Maharaj Yudhisthira reversed the action and merged the five elements of the body in the three modes of material nature. The qualitative distinction of the body as being good, bad, or mediocre is extinguished and, uh, extinguished. and again, the qualitative manifestations become merged in the material energy, which is produced from a false sense of the pure living being. When one is thus inclined to become an associate of the Supreme Lord, the personality of Godhead in one of innumerable planets of the spiritual sky, especially in Goloka Vrindavan, one has to think always that he is different from the material energy. He has nothing to do with it, and he has to realize himself as pure spirit, Brahman, qualitatively equal with the supreme Brahman, Parmeshvara. Maharaj Yudhisthir, after distributing his kingdom to Parikshit and Vajra, did not think himself emperor of the world or head of the Kuru dynasty. This sense of freedom from material relations, as well as freedom from the material engagement of the gross and subtle encirclement, makes one free to act as a servitor of the Lord, even though one is in the material world. This stage is called Jivan Mukta stage, or the liberated stage, even in the material world. That is the process of ending material existence. One must not only think that he is Brahman, but must act like Brahman. One who only thinks himself Brahman is an impersonalist, and one who acts like Brahman is the pure devotee. Text 43. Shravasa niraharo, vadhavan mukta murdhaja, darshayan atmano rupam, jadon mata pisachavat, anavikshamano nergad, ashran van badhiro yata. After that, Maharaj Yudhisthira dressed himself in torn clothing, gave up eating all solid foods, voluntarily became dumb, and let his hair hang loose. All this combined to make him look like an urchin or madman with no occupation. He did not depend on his brothers for anything. And just like a deaf man, he heard nothing. Purport. Thus being freed from all external affairs, he had nothing to do uh, with imperial life or family prestige. And for all practical purposes, he posed himself exactly like an inert mad urchin and did not speak of material affairs. He had no dependence on his brothers who had uh, all along been helping him. This stage of complete independence from everything is also called the purified stage of fearlessness. Thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 44 on uh, Friday, hopefully. All glories to Om Vishnu Pad Srila. Bhakti Niskam Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. All glories to Om Vishnu Pad Shri Pad Bhakti Vigyan Muni Maharaj Ki Jai.
Our glories to Om Vishnu Pad, Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai. Our glories to Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Nirmala Charya Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Our glories to Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Our glories to Om Vishnu Pad, Srila AC Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai. Our glories to Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Our glories to Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada Ki Jai. Our glories to our Rupanuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Our glories to the assembled devotees Ki Jai. Our glories to the worldwide devotees Ki Jai. Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai. Our glories to Navadvip Dham Ki Jai. Mayapur Dham Ki Jai. Nishingapali Dham Ki Jai. Ekachakar Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Puri Dham Ki Jai. Jagannath Baladev Subhadra Ju Ki Jai. Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai. Giri Govardhan Gupta Govardhan Dham Ki Jai. Sham Kun Radha Kun Ki Jai. Tosi Devi Bhakti Devi Vrinda Devi Ki Jai. Nitai Gora Pramanandi. Hari 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 Bo. Dhanavad Pranam.